Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael. You guys are watching IDB. And in this video, I'm showing you a bunch of hidden features in iOS 17. So if you have just updated your iPhone to iOS 17, I'm about to show you a ton of things you didn't know your iPhone can do on this update. Let's go ahead, roll the intro and jump right in. So first up is inside of Messages. You guys are probably already familiar with the redesign apps inside of iMessage where you have to click the plus icon and all of your apps are now on the left hand side. But if you want to send a photo really quickly in iOS 17, all you have to do is simply press and hold on the plus icon and it's going to show all your photos right here. And also when you go into your iMessage applications, you're actually able to reorder these in any order that you want. So for example, if I want to move camera to the bottom, all I have to do is pick it up and drag it to the bottom just like this. Next up is for a feature called haptic touch. If you don't know what haptic touch is, it's pretty much whenever you press and hold on something on your iPhone. So whether you're pressing and holding on a widget like this or an app icon, this is what haptic touch is. And in iOS 17, there's actually a way to make it a lot faster. So go into accessibility settings, then click on touch, then choose haptic touch. And from here, you're able to choose the fast option. This is completely new for iOS 17. So here is the default speed for haptic touch. As you can see, it is a little bit slow. And if I change it now to fast, you can see just how much faster this opens with haptic touch. So this makes it so much easier to navigate your iPhone if you're using this a lot. Next up is inside of photos. Visual lookup in iOS 17 has now gotten a lot smarter. So iOS 17 can now recognize symbols on your car's dashboard and also various safety icons, for example, on your clothes. So here you can see I have a bunch of icons that I found from Google. And if I click on this visual icon lookup, you can see it says lookup auto symbol. If I click on this, you can see it's going to show all the information from the symbols it detected in the photo. And also for the next tip, staying inside of photos, if you zoom into a photo, iOS 17 is automatically going to give you an option to crop that photo. So you no longer have to tap the screen, then tap on edit and then crop the photo. You can simply zoom into the photo and then choose to crop it just like that. Next up is inside of Control Center, and this is for those of you who have an Apple Watch. Open up Settings and then tap on Control Center, and you'll notice there is a new option called Ping Apple Watch. It's right here, it's with a green icon. So if I add this into my Control Center, you can see it looks like this, and if I tap on it, I'm able to ping my watch if I lost it somewhere in my house, for example. Next up is for Siri and Safari. So Siri in iOS 17 can now actually read articles to you. So open up Safari and this has to be on a website that supports reader mode. So the way you'll know this is supported is if you click on this icon in the bottom left corner, you can see an option that says show reader. And if it's able to open up this mode, you're able to ask Siri to read you the article just like this. Read this to me. So now as you can see, Siri is now reading it to me and you can also keep it playing in the background as well. It shows up in the dynamic island as well as your lock screen. And also new in iOS 17 is for FaceTime. So FaceTime can now detect a bunch of various hand effects. As you can see, when I do the peace sign, it gives me balloons. If I do two peace signs, I'm going to get some confetti. If I give a thumbs up, I can also get a little bubble just like this. It also works if I do this rock icon. You can see it's going to give me lasers, I believe. I think I have to do that with two hands. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go. So this is really cool. There are a bunch of effects that you can get in FaceTime uh, simply with just your hands. And next up is for standby. So standby in iOS 17 is the new mode that your iPhone can go into to show you various information when your iPhone is horizontal and charging. What's really great about standby is there is a night mode. So in settings, click on standby and then click on night mode. Make sure that this is turned on. And what this is going to do is it's going to dim the display very low and it's also going to make everything on standby red, which is going to be much easier on your eyes at nighttime. iOS 17 also has a new option to allow you to bypass certain verification methods on the web. So you know those CAPTCHAs that you always have to fill out in Safari? Well, that is no longer a thing on iOS 17. So inside settings, click on your name and then click on sign in and security. 
then scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure that automatic verification is turned on. What this is gonna do, as you can see here, it says it's going to allow you to bypass CAPTCHAs in apps and on the web. So you no longer have to check various images of a stop sign or even do that check mark as Safari is now going to do that for you. And staying inside of settings, there's a new option in screen time. Click on screen time and you'll see we have a new option called screen distance. This is going to apparently reduce eye strain. If I click on continue, it's gonna show how it works right here. And I believe it's going to use the face ID module in your iPhone to determine how far away your phone is from your face. And I was testing this out when iOS 17 was in beta. And apparently I was holding my iPhone a little bit too close as I got a full screen alert as you're seeing on your screen right now. This is what it looks like when you're holding your iPhone too close and you have this setting turned on. So if you're someone who is worried about eye strain from holding your phone too close to your face, this is no longer an issue in iOS 17. For the next one, we're gonna jump back inside of messages. So if we wanna send a bunch of photos to someone, but we don't wanna include various information such as the location, we can actually choose to remove certain information from those photos before you send them. So here, if I check off a few photos, I then have to scroll up into the entire view. I can then click on options at the bottom. Now, if you look here at the bottom of the screen before I do that, you can see it says locations are included. If you click on options, you can actually turn this off. So if I turn off location, then click on done, it's gonna say locations are not included. So a bit of a nicer way to get a bit more privacy when sharing your photos. Also new in iOS 17 is inside of notes. You are actually able to turn any text inside of a note into a link, which can link you into a different note. So I'll show you how this works. If I select a word inside of notes here, I'll click on it just like this. I can then go over and click on add link. If I click on this, you can see I'm able to choose whichever note I wanna to link to. So I believe I have another note called test. I'll link to this one right here and then click on done. Now, as you can see, this is now a hyperlink. And if I click on this note, it's gonna bring me to my other note. And next up is for the camera. Inside of settings, if you scroll down and click on camera, there is a new option in iOS 17 for a level. So I always recommend for iPhone photography to turn on the grid as it's gonna make it a lot easier to compose your photo. But you can also now turn on a level, which is gonna make it even easier to compose your photos. So if I open up the camera, you can see the level is in the middle. If I rotate my iPhone, you can see it's gonna show up just like this and it's going to stay around the horizon. So as you can see, we have two dashes on the left and right hand side showing where we are in relation to the horizon. Another really awesome feature in iOS 17 is for setting a wallpaper. So you know in iOS 16, when you'd go to set a wallpaper that wasn't the perfect aspect ratio for your phone, it would always zoom in a lot to that image. It would either zoom in or you would have black bars on the top and bottom. Luckily in iOS 17, this is no longer an issue because the iPhone is able to do some intelligent blurring that matches the color with the surrounding color in your photo. So what does this mean? Well, let's set this as my wallpaper and I'll show you. I'll choose use as wallpaper and then I'll turn off live photo. You can see here the image is really zoomed in. But if I zoom out, you can see that the system is now adding a really nice blur to the top of the screen. So this makes it a lot easier to set an image that isn't the perfect aspect ratio for your phone. iOS 17 also makes it a lot easier to undo a moved application. If I go to my home screen and I wanna move my camera from here to here, but let's say I did that by mistake, I can now simply shake to undo or do the undo gesture and I can undo that moved application just like this. And iOS 17 also allows you to create a sticker from any image. So here I have a photo of my new Apple Watch band. If I press and hold on it, you can see it gets selected just like this. And then I have the option to add a sticker. If I click on this, you can see it was added to all my stickers, but you can also see we can add an effect to our stickers. If I click on add effect, you can see we have a bunch to choose from. So we have original, we have outline, we have comic, puffy, and then also shiny. I think puffy and shiny are probably my favorites just because they're really playful. So you can make these stickers from any image on your iPhone and it kind of just adds to the overall iPhone experience. And I also wanna throw in one quickly at the end. iOS 17 does include a bunch of new texting notification tones. So I'll play you a few of my favorites. So 
So of all of these, I think my favorite is Milestone, which sounds like this. So Apple hasn't changed the texting tones for a very long time on the iPhone, and this is a really nice new update to have. So that's gonna do it. iOS 17 is filled with a bunch of really small changes. And on the surface, it really doesn't look like it's a big substantial update. But as you use iOS 17 more and more, you're gonna realize that Apple made changes to pretty much everywhere throughout the system. So what I want you guys to do is head down into the comments and tell me what your favorite feature was I talked about in this video. Once you have done that, click the like button if you found this video informative or helpful or entertaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you in the next video.